Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Happy Game. Now, this is a game that a lot of you have been asking me to play in the comments of my other videos, and I didn't actually know what it was. I looked into it a little bit. It looks a bit like a kind of more colourful version of Limbo, although you couldn't tell that from the title screen here. And I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll see what it's like. So with that said, let's dive into the world of Happy Game and see what it's all about. Here we go then. Happy game. That's creepy. It's a bit like the Joker's face. Ah, oh, we've got a little kid coloring on the floor. That's kind of cute. So I've just walked over to the bed and he's got in it. It's, I think this is a point and click game. So I think we just click around the screen to do everything in it. He's going to sleep. And I'm guessing maybe this takes place in his nightmare then. Okay, do we get back up? Oh, we woke him up. He looks pretty afraid. It's like, it's like a UFO coming down. Oh, okay. Grab and pull to move him. Ah, okay. That's kind of intuitive. I like that. We've still got the UFO spotlight above us. I like how the little mouse cursor like walks while we're doing this as well. Oh, a present. I don't like these shadowy figures though. Oh, we open it, I see. What's this, a cat? Can we, oh, we can lift it out and move it. Can we move it over to him? Nope. Oh no. We got a clown. I'm not a fan of clowns. Oh, we can move this. I see. There we go. And then can we move it across? This is really weird. We've just opened the clown up. We've torn it in half. This seems like a puzzle game to me. We've got another one of those. Okay. We've opened that up. Ring the bell. <laughs> I don't know why we're ringing bells here. What's this? What is happening? Another one to ring, okay. It's kind of fun though. He doesn't seem to be enjoying it, that little kid though, does he? He's kind of scared. Oh no. I feel like something bad is going to happen right now. They're combining. These are like all the bad memories locked away in his head or something. Okay, we're back. We've got a bouncy ball. I like that. Yay, we've grabbed it. This is like a flashback, man. And that's a bully. Oh, so this is about childhood trauma by the look of it. And that's the like darkness watching over him, like the thoughts in his mind maybe that come out when he goes to sleep. Oh, we just chase it. Here we go. I keep forgetting we have to grab the main character to make him walk as well. That really confuses me. So we just chase this ball. See where it goes. Nowhere good, I imagine. Oh, another puzzle. Okay, we've turned the light on. And now we've got a teddy bear. Yay. I never feel like anything I'm doing is going to result in something good though, you know? What's under this one? Oh, there is something under it. Oh, I can lift, ah, I pull that down to lift that up. Now we've got a new head. Grab it and give it to the kids. Okay, do we walk over to the teddy bear now? Oh, we've got a body. I see, I see. We're constructing stuff and then, oh. Go this way, they're telling me to go this way. This is really confusing, <laughs> by the way. I can pull that down. What's under this one? 
Oh, I can't get whatever's underneath there yet. Oh, we've run into a wall. Let's just go back over to the wall then. Oh, the wall's changed colours. That's interesting. Let's try walking him away from the wall and then back into it again and see if it changes again. Yeah, now we've got a teddy bear picture. Okay, we stroked the teddy bear picture. It doesn't seem to have done anything though. Let's walk away then, I guess. Head back to it. Okay, that's weird. Now we've got like a microphone taped down to the wall. Now we've got a ball. Okay. We've seen that before. He doesn't do anything with it though. Now we've got lots of balls. I don't know if we're meant to be walking into the wall like this. Now we've got blood. I feel this is going somewhere really dark. We've got more blood. We're just walking him to and from the wall. And now we've got, oh, we've got bloody footprints. Can we follow those? No. And now a smiley face. We've seen that before. Nothing happens still though. I wonder how many times this will change. What's that? A picture of a bunny rabbit? Looks like a bunny rabbit with a human face. Which is kind of creepy. Oh no, it does have a rabbit's face. It's just a very, like, skeletal looking one. Alright, let's keep going back and forth then. There it's teeth. It's changed the colour as well now. Okay, let's move him away into the wall again. Now i got a picture of a boy. I have no idea what, what I'm doing here, guys. A boy with a scribble now. Oh, and what's he doing there? Being sick? Well, something's happened to him. <laughs> I don't even know. That looks horrible. Oh, wait. It's saying that the darkness went inside him, like we just said a minute ago, guys, and then that sort of consumed him. That that smiley face is the evil, isn't it? That's his, like, all his bad thoughts that have consumed him now. We've got a circus here now. A clown. Uh, what's next? Spirits. And what's this, a note? Can we collect, should we, can we take that note? Nope. I don't know what that was then. Oh, they're making up an image. I get it. The smiley face again, okay. And then his bedroom. And the baby. I guess that's him as a baby. And then it turns into a smiley face and I got an achievement called the happy wall. So I don't know if we're meant to do all that or if that's just like secret stuff. And that's gone back to how it was before. So I can't do anything there at the moment. Let's see if we can walk all the way back to the other ones. We can, okay. So I think what we're going to have to do is put this one down. Yeah, and we've got a new character there now. Okay, we place this down and this down. Ah, oh, now we can access this. I don't think we can grab that. I think we need to grab the other head, right? So let's see if now with the other two down, we can now, yes, get the head. And it looks really creepy. It's like a creepy symbol monkey head. But we've now picked that up. So let's walk him back over here. And put the symbol monkey head on the symbol monkey. There we go. And now I guess we've got all three of them sort of done. So we can sort of start them all off. There you go. And he's happy. He's like, yay. They're all going. Oh. So there we are. Puzzle solved. Took me a little while that one guys because I had all the stuff going on with the wall and I was unsure if it all tied together. Okay, we've got some more stuff to manipulate. We have to bang that. Wow. <laughs> it's going a bit crazy right now. Oh no. Well, the happiness couldn't last forever, right? 
So, yeah, his toys are pretty destroyed right now. Let's keep going. There's his ball again. Let's uh, chase the ball. Very happy. The happiness doesn't last in this game, but it's very happy at the moment. We've got little teddy bears. Uh, this feels very much like Limbo, I must say. Like I said at the start of the video, but it, it does feel like Limbo a little bit. Maybe a bit of Fran Bow in there too. What the heck is that? Is that like a giant pig? Or is that meant to be a teddy bear? It can move its arms around. Ah, oh, that prize is ahead open. So what do we do next? Can we lift it up more now? Kinda. Oh, do it again. There we go. Let's do it again. Third time's the charm. I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing this until the whole head goes all the way up. Oh no, that's not nice. Like an alien inside it. Oh, that brings him forward now. The other arm brings him forward. So we move this up and down and it brings him forward. This is really weird. Is this like a boss? Are there bosses in this game? Feels like this is kind of a boss encounter, right? We're just bringing him out of the shell. Oh, we've got an eyeball now. That is weird. Yeah, not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. What is that? We're just opening it up. There we go. And we've got the ball. The ball has come out of that. Was that one of the bullies, maybe? I'm thinking that was like maybe one of the bullies from the school, the one we saw in the flashback. And we've got our ball back from him now. We're getting a bit more of a song every time as well, aren't we, when we sort of solve a puzzle. You can see all the other kids in the background as well. I don't know why their heads are popping off like that. But uh, I guess we just keep chasing the ball. Okay. That was abrupt. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's like a giant woman. A giant lady. So what are we doing here? Oh, okay, we're trying to put the hand on her face. I see. So we stretch our arms out, and then we, like, yeah, put them up to her face. But it's got to be the right length. There you go. So that's done that. So now what do we do? Oh, wait, yeah, we can, we can lift the head off if we put the hands all the way up. And now we can get the ball out. There we go. It worked. Huzzah. Can we go grab a ball? Hopefully. Oh no. She's covered in blood as well now. Don't mind us. We're just trying to get our ball back. I'm gonna just run. Oh no. <laughs> He's slowly walking. Just run, man. Just go. Please. Uh, keep going. Ooh. Okay, we survived for now. That was kind of creepy. It's okay, little guy. We're getting you out of here. <laughs> Boop. He's very nervous, isn't he? He reminds me of that, like, character Salad Fingers. Have you guys ever seen the Salad Fingers cartoons? On uh, YouTube, he reminds me of that little character a little bit. He's a little bit cute than that guy, though. That guy is kind of really creepy. All right, we got blood. Of course we have. Well, that was uh, a bit seizure-inducing. What's this, then? Oh, it's a smiley face. And we've got a puzzle. I think we have to construct all these toys. These are all the broken toys from earlier, so we've seen the clown before. Let's put him together. Oh, we can open it and take another toy out. I get it. 
So would this one go with the drums? I think each toy's got to go with its own... Yeah, each toy's got to go with its own, like, um, other toy. Now we play with this one. Is this going to give us another toy? Let's get him going. There we go. So that's another one. And then we've got, yeah, we've got another part of a toy come out of him. That seems to be from the train. So we've activated the train now. Ah, and now we've got a mushroom. Oh, there we go. We've got loads of stuff coming out of it. That's kind of weird. We've got a weird smiley face. It looks like a uh, poppy playtime face. There we go. We've got a key. So the key could be for... Maybe a wind-up toy. Would it be for this? Nope. It's not for that. The car? Yeah. We wind up the car. That makes sense. Cool. And off it goes. Oh, and it's brought a head back for a dog. Pretty weird, but there we go. Oh, we need to move it close enough. So if we do that, will it move closer? A little bit. Probably not close enough yet, but we'll try. Wait, maybe now it's down on this level, we can pass it to him instead. Yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yes, there we go. Now start the car up, and he'll hold onto the head. Go on, hold on to it, break it. That's it. Nice. So that's maybe showing how he broke his toys as a kid, or... Pro actually, that's probably showing how, like, another kid tried to take his dog off him, and uh, the head came off it. He had like a toy dog and another kid sabotaged it, maybe. I'm trying to like theorize the story as we go here, guys, because I know you guys always like it when I explain the stories of games. So I'm just trying to put it together. Right, so what does this do? Oh yeah, look, we've got all sorts of stuff if we pull this open. Hold on to it then, and we'll have a look. Oh, okay, we just needed that. So this is for the drum. There you go. Next, we need to figure out what the drum does, I suppose. Oh, it's got a character underneath it. Holding a bunny head, which we've just grabbed. It's a little gremlin. A gremlin in the machine. Off you go, then. Thanks for the head. And I'll uh, pop this on here. Okay, so, bunny rabbit, what does this do? Oh, that's kind of weird. We got a more humanoid looking head now. Can I do anything with you? Just click on you. Oh, another one comes off. Of course it does. Getting more disturbing each time. Now it's like a doll head. And can we put the doll head on this? Yes, we can. We're getting there. So what does this do? Oh, we can hold on to its hand. Oh no. That's kind of nasty. And now we've got a piece of a Rubik's Cube. Which I guess we can put on that. There we go. Fix the Rubik's Cube. Oh, please don't say we have to solve a Rubik's Cube puzzle. I am horrible at these in real life. Oh no, we don't. Good. I'm also not very good at these. Following the ball. So he's going to switch them around now. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Oh, what? Did it... Was I wrong? It was there. Oh, okay. I'm not very good at these either, to be honest. Was it still in that one? Alright. It's under this one, then. What? Was it... I think he switches it. It's always under this one. There's something under his hat, though. Am I meant to just, like... I'm just meant to grab that. The ball game is a diversion. The ball game never mattered. We just wanted the duck head. And now we can place it on here. Okay, so... 
We're getting close to finishing this now. Oh, blood's coming out of this. Uh, okay. Oh, big, big lo drop of blood there. What is this? It's like hair or something. Can I still play with a duck? Oh, yeah, the more blood is on the ground, the more of that clown thing we can take out. So let's see if we can take the whole of it out now. We can. Okay. Play with its nose a little bit. And we've got a building block, which is what we needed. So let's put that over here. Have we done the puzzle? It looks like we've solved it, potentially. Maybe once we've played around with these. Right. Perfectly normal. Okay. I, I'm unsure what's happening. So we've put the candle inside his head. Oh, there we go. We've put the candle in his head as well now. So we start him off. And he'll basically... At the very end of his cycle, he'll light both of these. And then we have to hit them. Okay, so end of it now. There you go. Done. And that should solve the puzzle. I hope. Oh, no, it doesn't. Now they're just like... Oh, it did solve it. They just turned to skulls first. And now all the toys are haunted and cursed, because of course they are. But I think something happened to all of these toys in a little boy when he was uh, growing up, and that's kind of the story here, isn't it? It's all childhood trauma. What the hell is this place, though? Like, what is this? Look at all these dead children on spikes. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna ignore that. Yay, he's so happy. Have we completed the game? <laughs> Probably not. But we got back to the bedroom, so that's nice. Oh no, his ball. And the thing is back again, the spirit. Well, it's not a spirit, I think it's just his subconscious, you know. The bad part of his subconscious. Trying to get him to submit to all the bad memories. So next we've got a rabbit. I wonder if this is going to be the next toy instead of a ball. And this is going to be like another memory from his childhood, I'm guessing. Yeah, he fell in the river and lost it. Oh no, this toy. Back into another bad memory then. We're in a meadow. This seems nice though, you know? This doesn't seem to be <laughs> to be too scary right now. I'm sure it will change soon, but for now we're happy. We've got daisies all around us. We've got the sun is shining, butterflies. We got a we got our rabbit. Oh no, it's been taken. That rabbit looks really freaky as well. Uh let's chase it. Let's chase after this sucker, come on. Just want our rabbit back, man. Got a bell. An unhappy bell. See, all of this is symbolic for stuff, I'm sure. Um, Alright, let's see what we can do with this then. So can I pull this down and, like, ring it? Yeah, now we can follow him into the hole. Oh. We've got a very colourful bunny rabbit. A very angry bunny rabbit. Oh no! We got grabbed. We're going inside its mouth. 
I wonder if that was like a game over screen or if that was meant to happen. Okay guys, so it seems like the rabbit comes out of a hole and catches us. So we've got to figure out a way so he can't catch us. Basically to prevent him from getting to us. What's this? It's a carrot I can pull out. Okay. Can we feed him the cat? Oh, we've got other rabbits. What do these guys do then? They follow us. They'll eat the carrots. And they get really big. Do we need to like block the hole with one of these guys? Or maybe, the no, maybe he trips up over them. Maybe the big uh, rabbit will trip up over them as he chases us. Because I think our objective is to try and get to that hole to follow the other rabbit, isn't it? So we need to space them out so that he trips up over them and we can get back to that hole. Let's see, where do we want to put the next one then? Maybe like, like here? Oh, hello. Maybe put the next one here. Now is there another carrot is the question. Oh, there is another carrot. Awesome. Let's put him here. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm going to hope that we space these guys out enough. As you can see, they are quite well spaced out. And um, hopefully when we call the big rabbit this time, he'll just trip up over those guys. So let's see if this works. Here he comes. Uh, he's got the toy rabbit. Oh, he's eating them. Like he ate us. And that's kind of a bit more morbid than I had expected, but... Never mind, hey ho. Oh, we might make this. We're almost at the hole. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Yes. We made it. Into the hole we go. Probably don't want to be going down here, but it's the only way we've got. Ah, this is kind of nice. Even though the rabbits look demonic, it's kind of nice having a big cluster of rabbits all around me. I like that. Okay, so puzzle number two then. What's this guy doing? Oh, he wants our help, maybe? Right, we can't help him at the moment. What does this block do? Ooh, it's a guillotine. So wait, do we have to... Oh my god, do we actually have to chop the head off a rabbit? I feel like we're gonna have to put a rabbit underneath that. Yeah, and chop its head off. This is kinda nasty. Okay, well, um, looks like rabbit mutilation is on the menu in this game as well. Oh no, sorry about this, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> Ooh, okay, but there's two of them now. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ah, oh, wait. Back to this, lift it back up again. Now there's two of them, they can lift up the pillow. Maybe we need to do it twice, though, to... There you go. Yeah, to chop them up properly. And now they can both get to the carrot over here. Oh, maybe not. No, it looks like we might need more. Okay, we're gonna need like, I guess, maybe five or six rabbits. We have got some more of um, these carrots though. So, I guess just attract them over here again with the carrot. There we go. And now we can multiply the rabbits again to stand on this. And there we go. Feels kind of nasty doing that, you know? <laughs> it makes me feel uncomfortable. At least they're alive still. Okay, will that be enough now? Please say that that's enough. Come on, teamwork, guys. I'll give you a hand too. Yay, it worked. So, did I see a giant carrot 
coming out of the ground. I think I did. Yeah, it's huge. Ooh, is that a harp? I think it is. It's playing a harp for some reason. Do I have to like pull these guys out of the ground? There we go. We do. Oh, he's trying to eat it all by himself. Oh, okay. That was strange. If we ring the bell, are we going to call out the like giant rabbit again? I feel like we might be. I'm just going to give it a go because I don't know what happens if we do this. Oh yeah, he comes back out. Okay, run. Maybe he eats that and just dies because it's so much food. Oh yeah, it's taking him a while to eat it. Can we not chop him up in the guillotine? I don't know. Oh, quick! We made it. We made it. We made it. Okay, I thought he was going to get us then. But I didn't know how else to solve the puzzle, so I was kind of thinking, surely that is right. And now we're in a world of hearts and guillotines. I'm completely lost. It's very strange. Let's go this way. Right. Oh, I can do something with this. Will any of them get in this? Hmm, the basket's got to be for something, right? Let's have a run around and see what we can do. Because we've got this, like, tyre swing here. Don't know if we can, like, put one of them on the tyre swing. Oh, we can. Nice, okay. And then we've got a swimming pool. Can we put one of them in the swimming pool? Yeah, okay. I think we wanted to like put one of them on each of the rides, maybe. Yeah, we put that one on there. Put one of these on that. And they're all happy now. One of them on this. Oh, he falls off. Oh, the record could go on here, right? Yeah, there we go. So we put the music on. Ah, okay, we put him on there. I think we have to find, like, which ones want to do what. So we want to put each of these on the podium. Here, right? And... That guy seems kind of happy up there, but then he gets down after a while. What's this guy do? Oh, he juggles. Okay. So everybody gets their little moment in the spotlight up there. What's this guy do? Oh, he's strong. He's a strong guy. A strong man. Um, will he hold on to this for us? Yes. Oh, and it's a guillotine. So we're, are we trying to lift all the guillotines in this area? It's all got smiley faces on it now. Yeah, look, we've got a crow up there. I get it. So what the objective here is, guys, is to like lift all the guillotines up. So we need to find something to hook onto this one. We can't just hook that guy onto it. Maybe that'd be a bit too gruesome. Can we put the... Wait, can we put the bucket on it? Yeah, we can put the bucket on it. Can we put him in the bucket? Yes, we can. Okay, so that's two done then. I'm guessing, like, this time when the rabbit comes out, we're going to try and, like, slice him up piece by piece. So what do we do with this guy? Can we make him go round or something? <laughs> Oops, we broke it. Oh, okay. I I guess that was meant to happen. That's pretty nasty. What do we do with this? Oh. Wait, can we hook it? Yes. Nice. <laughs> we can actually play with this guy as well. He doesn't seem to want to come out of the water. There we go. Oh no, we made all the water go out. I guess he's going to explode too then. Yep. Uh, sorry about that guy. Sorry to ruin your fun and make your head explode. Maybe we have to like torment each of these people 
or characters, whatever they are, who are on um, these toys. Oh, I exploded all over him. Yeah, it definitely looks like that's the case. We need to find somebody to hold on to this. Hmm. Oh, he throws it up. And then we can grab it. There we go. And now he's going to explode. I don't know why we're making these guys explode. Like, I don't know if we need to. Or if we're just doing that for like an achievement, maybe. We've only got one more guillotine to set in place though now. So I've got to work out how we do the last guillotine, like how we how we sort the last one out. Maybe we just get someone to like hold on to it, I don't know. Like maybe one of these guys will just hold it for us. Yeah, you'll just hold it, right? There you go, that's fine. So we set all the guillotines up now. I, I'm gonna say that's probably the puzzle solved. Now we just have to ring the bell once more and hope that the rabbit eats each of these characters next to the guillotines and chops himself up in the process. So I guess let's give it a go and see if it works. Oh, there's a the bell. I just ran past it. Right. Let's try this. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to have to do this whole puzzle again if I failed. Wow, he's looking more human this time. That's kind of disturbing. And we've gone into slow motion. Oh, yeah, look, it worked. We actually chopped him up. Ugh, there's half a body chasing us now. This is so weird. Okay, come on then. Oh, they just explode when he gets close. And there's like loads of dead rabbits inside him as well. It's just like a hand chasing us now as well. That's so weird. Come on, you can make it. Run, little guy. The last guillotine. Yep, go, go, go. It worked. No, you're done. You're done, man. Right, here we go. We made it into the final hole, perhaps. I don't know how many holes there's going to be, but we've done three now. Oh, there's another. Okay. I misspoke. Oh, this is the same one. There's the face again. Right. So let's just run around clockwise. Always clockwise. Oh, a mask. Don't put it on, man. I feel like this is bad. Oh, well, he's done it now. Lots of smiley faces. Feels like we're at a rave or something. Can't get it off now. Oh, lots of hands. This is like, those hands look like uh, they're from Bendy and Mink Machine or something. Oh, look, we've got uh, a knife. I'll take that. Don't ever run with knives, though, right? I mean, I don't know why this kid's running with a knife. Oh, do we have to stab this guy? He's kind of happy. Oh, it's our head on a plate. Oh, it's showing us what to do. So it's the one on the right, the one on the left, and then the one in the middle. So maybe give him the, the knife. Yeah, he cuts it. <laughs> cutting our head, it turns into a cake. Now we need to give it to the one on the... Or do we have to find more knives, I wonder? No, we need three knives here, I think, guys. Basically, we're getting a slice of cake served, I think. But we're gonna need three knives. 
or free devices of some kind, like, in order to do this, I think. So yeah, there's a fork. So we need to get the fork. Nope. There we go. So I guess what we need is a plate, maybe, to finish it. Let's run all the way back and give the fork. Oh, yes, we've got the salt shaker. Yeah, so it was the knife which goes to this guy. The fork goes to the last guy. Here. Salt shaker goes to this guy. Although I don't know why they're putting salt on a cake. That seems really weird to me. There we go. Take it. Excellent. Okay, let's head back. And give the salt shaker to the one on the left. Here we are. And now let's see if it works. So, slice a piece of cake from the head. Never a sentence I thought I'd say. There you go. Oh, it's icing. That makes more sense. And then, yeah. He feeds the cake to the guy at the top. There we go. It worked. Lovely. Uh, delightful little burp there. Right, so what do we do now? Do we... Oh. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I just clicked him again and now, uh, well, hell's breaking loose. I don't think he's going to be too happy about this. <laughs> yeah, they turned into angels. Can I take the plates? I can take the plates. Okay. Wait, I've got an idea. They blow those things, they like blow wind, so maybe float the plate on this and get these guys to blow it across to the other side. So can we get on this now? Can we like stand on it? Oh, that's so cute! So now we get these guys to blow us across. Here we go. Look at he's holding on to it. That's kind of sweet. If this game wasn't so dark, it would be a really cute game. So we've made it to the other side, so now we've sort of avoided the hands that were trying to get us. Uh, so that's maybe the puzzle solved, I assume. Oh, wait, there's a duplicate. There's two of us. Let's chase him. Oh, no masks beyond this point, it says. Oh, looks like that one's had its head eaten. Can we take the mask off? I don't think we can take the mask off. We're just gonna have to run into danger. Oh, look at all the bodies. All being cast aside after their heads have been picked off. Oh no. Yeah, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to engage with that guy. He's not very happy. Um, can we? Is there any way we can take the head off? Do we just have to meet up with him? That's really weird. I feel like he's gonna just pull our head off now. I don't know if this is meant to happen. Oh, it looks like it was meant to happen. Okay. Fine. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised anymore. Let's roll our head. <laughs> Again, I didn't think I'd be saying a sentence like that today. Over here. What is that? What language is that? Is it German? I'm confused. Oh, wait, maybe... Run down the hill. There we go. That didn't work. Come on. Kick it in that goal. Back of the net. Boom. Yeah, it worked. Kinda. Try it again. This is when he used to play football on the playground, I'm assuming. And come on, get a good run up. This should do it now. Almost. Come on, man. Just kick it in. Yes, we did it. 
goal. The crowd goes wild. He doesn't look very happy, that referee, though. What do we do? Oh, we roll our head. We need to keep rolling the head now. I didn't know we had control again. Okay. That was uh, a strange puzzle. But we're back. We found our body again. Oh, he's going to take our head off again. That wasn't much of a reprieve, was it? <laughs> Maybe he's not. Oof. There we go. We didn't want that on our head anyway. I hate that face. It's so creepy. He's like, Arr. I don't like the look of your face, mister. Don't you stick your tongue out at me. <laughs> we can pull it. Screw you. This is what you get. What do I do? Let go of it? There we go. He's made a mark in his head. This is such a weird game. I think this is probably one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Certainly one of the weirdest I've played on this channel. Yeah, you're not happy now, are you? Oh, do we pull his eyes next? Oh, okay. This yank so he's out of his head. Oh, he's happy. I don't know why that would be... I don't know why that would make someone happy, but there you go. He's laughing more and more the more we do this. Oh, we've taken his eyes out completely now. At least he looks like pretty happy about it. Oh, now we take his teeth out, do we? <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Chewing gum? Oh, we're making him chew the chewing gum. So we just keep making him do this, I think. And now he blows a bubble. There we go, we're making his head return to normal. Oh, he's... no, it's got big again. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for this guy now. I feel like this is a reflection of ourselves, right? And what happened to us. That's it. Calm down now. You'll be okay. I, I, I get the feeling that he's going to come to life and just be, like, really mad with us now. Let's just try and go past him. Hey, he helped us. Thanks for taking that weird looking mask off. Here's our rabbit. Oh no. Please don't grab it. Please don't grab it. We're all we're so close. Uh let me just have that, please. Oh no. He's taken it. Ugh. Oh, it's offering it to us. Is that a trap, though? Yes, definitely. Never trust something that looks like that, you know? <laughs> Into the depths of his mind once again. This is so weird. I don't even know what how what to say for a commentary, guys. Like, this is just so odd. Like, look at this. There's the face again, though. In the middle. And we've got all these dead animals. Well, they look kind of like um, our stuffed bunny rabbit, right? So that thing is holding onto the rabbit at the moment. Let's go this way. Oh. We're looking through a crack in the toy head by the look of it. Got some slime here. Is it getting bigger each time? I feel like it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Well, there we go. The smiley face. I do not know what kind of shape I'm trying to make here, guys. But... Let's just go with it. Oh, there we go. We've got a head. And another head. Right. Ugh. We're just literally exposing the darkness within. Man, that does not look nice. He's got a little smiley heart, though. Probably one of the weirdest things I've seen. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh okay, we've destroyed one of them. Maybe we have to destroy each of the head faces in this room then. Yeah, look, one of the heads has been destroyed. We need to go to the other two now. So each of these heads has something for us. Let's go and look inside this one then. Oh, this one's got little, like, gremlin creatures in it. Oh, we got matches. Here we go, look. We can grab it, we can pass it over to him. Nice, okay. Pull this guy down. And now we've got a box of matches. Never play with matches, though. Oh, what's that? Oh, we stick one of those on there and he, and he cooks it. That's kind of nasty. It's like a marshmallow, like a living marshmallow. I don't know if I like that. That's kind of nasty. We actually have to put it in the fire, I think, as well. Oh. Do we put all of these guys on the on the needle? Yeah, and I think we put all of them on. So he's got like a little kebab of... <laughs> I don't know, of these little gremlin things. It's not even like they've died. But there we go. They're being cooked. Oh, and he's falling in the fire. That's what you get for cooking things alive, man. We've got another heart. Can we take that from you, please? Oh, maybe take the head off. There we go. Head is off. And heart is off. And hopefully clicking this will destroy this head. Whoa! There we go, another head exploded. One more left. And then we'll be out of this hell hole for good, hopefully. Let's look inside this face next. Ooh, what's this one? It's like a music box. So let's turn that on. Right, that's on. We can put a rabbit in there. Ah, uh, it's like a blender. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Oh no. Oh, he's, he's cutting up the rabbit. I wonder if this little kid had an actual rabbit that, like, someone killed. Like a bully killed or something. Because there's a lot of stuff about, like, you know, torturing rabbits in this game. It could just be referring to his, like, cuddly toy, but it could also be referring to, like, a pet he had or something. This is obviously a traumatic memory for him, though, that he's locked away. Oh, we can actually wait. We can we can move the we can move the little um, eyepieces around as it happens, though. Oh, we can grab him. Nice. We don't have to keep shredding rabbits. We can grab this guy. Can we do anything with him? Put him put him down outside and now put the rabbit in, maybe. Oh, put him in. And let the rabbit deal with him. Yeah, now the rabbit deals with him instead. Good. Vengeance is sweet. There we go. We got him. Nasty creature. So now we just pull him apart. Take the heart. Click on it. And explode the head. And that should do us. That should be the last one, I think. Right. Can we please get our rabbit back now? Finally. <laughs> you know, it's been a long time coming, this rabbit. Look, it's coming down to us. Yay, I think we might have done it. There we go. Look how happy he looks. We did it. We return to the room. 
Oh. Looks like we're not done yet. He's taking us to another world again. Another dream. Another sort of dark memory, I guess. We're in like a black and white world now. <laughs> His little expressions. Oh, doggy! Oh no, it's run away. Don't run away, doggy. Come back. I feel like this one could be the saddest of all the memories because, you know, we all love dogs, right? I think most people do anyway. Don't want anything bad to happen to this dog. But this doesn't seem like a particularly happy game. Even though it's called Happy Game, it's not really that happy, is it? It should just be called Depressing Game, really. Oh, it's doing a little wee. Oh, that's not nice. No. Give us our dog back. Okay, we can't grab him. Can we play with this? Maybe blow him in the wind? Oh, it's making a storm come. Okay. Oh, it... Ah, okay. There we go. We've made it rain. Oh, look, we can act... Wait, actually... When we moved it then, we saw the hand of a creature holding him. So maybe if we make it move back again, we can get a good look at him. And just let go of it there. Look. There it is, the dark entity. Huh. Maybe we can shock him. There we go. We shocked him. And he's sort of appeared into reality. <laughs> it looks like we've got like samurai swords in the ground here as well. Let's try zapping him again. Oh, it's got a face inside there now. That's really creepy. I guess we zap him again. Just keep zapping him. That is so creepy. One more time for good luck. I feel like we're going to get trapped in this weird pocket dimension now. Oh, there's something in there, a tooth. Let's yank it out. There we go. Our dog is free, our dog is free, yay! Oh, he's so happy as well. And that thing's in a cage now, that dark entity. So this is like a flashback again. So he's out in the woods playing with the dog. Oh no. dog ran off in the woods and got lost. Okay, so I guess we chase after the dog once more. Hopefully we can capture him this- oh, it's disappeared. Is he coming for us? Come on, doggy. Come on. Quickly. Oh, okay. What is this? It's a grave by the look of it. Okay, we got teleported. There's the second grave. Can I do anything with these graves? Oh, what was that? Wait, let me walk a little bit further this way. Pull that up. It's like a giant turnip or something. Or is it a pumpkin? I don't know. I don't know what this is meant to be, but it's creepy looking. Yeah, it's a pumpkin, isn't it? I think. With a smiley face. 
Oh, we can make it. Oh, we can tip it. Okay. And then. Oh, uh, what's that meant to be? Is that one of our cuddly toys? Oh. Oh, we're cracking it. We're cracking it open. What about the other eye? Yeah, they're sitting in the other eye as well. Another broomstick with. Looks like um, the little wooden toy we had earlier, doesn't it? From near the start. A little block of wood. There we go. We cracked it. We cracked it again. And now we've got. One, two, three. So this would be pulled first. Then this one. Oh, is this to make it walk? It's kind of weird. So yeah, we're just making it walk for some reason. Like, how far do we have to make it go? Ah, there we go. He's doing it for himself. I was worried that we're going to have to do that for ages. And I was like, that's going to be really boring. <laughs> oh, we've got another one in the background there. So, I guess this symbolizes the woods and how he got lost in the woods. All these things are just like the trees flying past him as he was running through the woods. And then there's the bad memory in the background. Seeded in his mind still. I still don't know exactly what this means, but I feel like we're kind of connecting the dots quite well as we go here. I think this is just kind of like a cutscene. Yeah, it's finished now. We've, we've crashed. Okay. Because that was going on for a while. I was like, am I meant to do something here? So now we're lost in the heart of the woods. But we're still with our doggy. And we've got... I don't know what this is. There's a t-shirt on here. Which isn't good. I'm going to have to go into the reeds. We're going on a duck hunt. Oh. Oh no, he's going to get lost. We must press on. We must find a way out of these woods. Oh. That is creepy. Man, that was close. I thought that was a game over then. So I think what we have to do is maybe like climb up this thing to get out of the reeds. Can we do that? Yes. Oh no! They're hurting the dog! So these were obviously bullies in the woods that got the dog and hurt it and stuff and he saw it. It's really sad. Right, so what's the idea here? What we t Oh, we can pick them up. Ah, okay. And now do we pull them? We took the head off one of them. Well, that's what you get for animal cruelty. Ah, now we can actually stroll through them as like one of the one of these nasty little bullies. Yeah, they're leaving us alone now. So that's how we avoid them. Oh, they're off somewhere in a hurry. Let's follow them. Ooh, it's like a ritual. We're going to partake in this ritual. That's weird. Yeah, these, these like, bullies or whatever they were caught him in the woods, I think, and, like, hurt his dog and stuff. So we kind of saw a little bit of what happened to him there. He was all, like, beaten up there. Wait, he wasn't, he's not meant to be dead, is he? This, like, I thought he was just dreaming this whole time. But maybe he is dead. I can hear the dog again. The little doggy. Hopefully we get our dog back soon. 
Oh, there he is! Doggy! Yay! He seems happy still, so hopefully isn't too... too hurt after that horrible ordeal he went through. So where are we now? Looks like underneath the trees. Yeah, we're like in the soil, in the ground. Yeah, we, are we meant to be dead and like this is now like we're buried under the ground? Because those, we got attacked in the woods or something? Maybe these aren't dreams, maybe this is like literally like his limbo, you know, like just like, like in the game limbo after all. Can't do anything with that anyway. We can move all of these rocks. So maybe the objective here is to stack up. Oh, because it's getting a face now. So I think we have to try and make a little st uh, stack of stones on top of this one as well. Look, because he starts to get a face when we do this. Yeah, the face is brightening even more. So one more should do it. Like that. Oh, almost. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Careful. Can't quite get it. Maybe this one? Has that done it? Yeah, that's done it. I don't know what that's done, but it's done something. I don't feel like it's done something good, but it's done something. The trees are all reaching out for us, okay. Yeah, the dog knows danger is uh, incoming right now. I feel like we should get out of here, you know? Oh. Okay, they're planting again. <laughs> Doggy! Just run. Just run, little fella. The game is really visually impressive, I must say. Like, I like all the different animations and stuff they use and the different colour schemes. There's a little too many flashing lights to my liking, but yeah, it's kind of cool, you know? It's a cool concept. Oh no! The dog! Wait, he's under the... He's like in another dimension now, like a mirror dimension. I feel like he lost the dog in the woods, and this is what it's trying to show us. I'm not sure if he's meant to be dead as well. I can't work that out yet. Let's keep going through the woods. Hopefully we find that doggy again. And maybe you can free him from the <laughs> mirror dimension he's trapped in now. Oh, there's a hand underneath there as well. We're like in a swamp. Oh, we can grab that. Okay, good. Oh. There we go. I think all we needed to do was hold on to it. Wow. Okay, that is creepy. That is weird. Um, do you want to eat that? Can we do anything with this guy? Oh, we can maybe take his mask off with this hand. Yes. Now we feed him. Ugh. Here you go. Eat it. He doesn't want to. Oh, okay. It's like a little version of us. Yeah, and they're the clothes that he was wearing in his flashback. So, we're like taking versions of ourselves out of his face. Let's just pull all of them out. So I think we are like taking, yeah, there's, there's less tentacles here now, definitely. Last one. Here it goes, nothing. Now can we feed him this? Yes. And there's the face. Oh man, it's like Slender Man or something. So wait, did he drown in the woods while he was looking for his dog? I don't know anymore. I, I Guys, this story is mind-bending. We can jump from body to body, though. 
can we... Yep, there we go. We made it. Ominous music. Right, what's that? It's like little lights everywhere, candles. It's weird though, because, yeah, there's like this reflective dimension beneath us. It's like another ritual or something. Something's happening now though. Something's forming. What is that? A rock? We're underneath now, we're in the other dimension with the dog. With no head! Okay, this is weird. Like little skeletal fish. What is this? Oh, it's like a, a giant one, okay. Can I do anything with this? We can destroy those. Oh, there's our head! I think when one swims past him, we have to try and grab it. Yes, we grabbed it. Okay, now throw it towards this thing, maybe. How do we do that? Ah, there we go. We manipulate the shadow, we can throw one to him. So now we just gotta try doing that again. Yes. Manipulate the shadow, throw the fish over to him. And his belly's getting bigger and bigger and eventually our head will be given back to us. So give him the fish. Here goes nothing guys, the final one. Let's uh, hope this works. Okay, what's this gonna do now? Is it gonna explode? And give us our head back? Yes, there we go, we got the head. We're winning. We're winning at life. <laughs> what do we do with this then? Climb it? Okay. Yes, I'm confused, but fair enough. This is creepy. Uh, what do we do with it? Manipulate it? I don't know why we've got no body again. Can we put our head in any of these holes? Oh, there's the eye. He can eat the eye. And another eye. Huh. Can he eat the head? Oh, we got a we got a an arm back. I think we have to just feed him loads of eyes. So let's try getting loads of different eyeballs out of all of these different things. Ah, uh, so we can get a maximum of five eyeballs. Okay, let's reattach that. Now let's feed him all five eyeballs and see if it will give us our full body. Now pull that off. Hopefully this works. Yes, it worked. We got our whole body back. Now let's place the head on my body and we're done. Nice. Good. Good job, everyone. Now let's see where we're going to be taken next. This is like literally the hell dimension now. <laughs> oh, we actually can manipulate this time and space by pulling it. Maybe just speed it up so fast that it does something. There we go. Something happened. Ooh. We're able to move this light around. Is there a specific place we need to move it though? Oh, there we go. It's like a torch. We're moving it through the woods, like a little flashlight. Oh, there's something there. What is this? 
Okay, that's creepy. It's like a skull. Yeah, a little face, look. So what are we looking to do here? Can we move the hands? Oh, there's, oh, there's a shadow, the little boy. Okay, so get him to rise to the surface maybe, I don't know. Come on, keep going. It's quite hard to control. There we go. Now we're in the head, we're trapped. Oh. Oh, we're breaking our way out. Okay. And we're back once again. Man, this is getting creepier each time we go onto this rock and like, get taken into the light. It's getting like, weirder and weirder. But we must proceed. We must keep going. For the good of the video. <laughs> what is that? Uh. Okay. Tentacles again. More tentacles. Oh no. Run! Run, little fellow! Keep going! Oh no! The doggy! Yay! Quick! To the doggy! I don't like that he's a silhouette though. I worry. There's a horrible face again. Oh no! He's taken him away again! Wait, is he dead? I think he's dead. I think he must have drowned, maybe. I feel like this might be the final showdown. It's like we're falling into the very depths of his mind, like where he's, re you know, repressed all of these memories now. Uh, like the darkest reaches of his subconscious. This is weird. Yeah, these are kind of all different fragmented parts of himself, aren't they? He's not happy though. Oh, we can turn this, I think. Yes. Right, if we turn it there, can we fall back out? Yes, okay, that worked. Good. The game's visuals are really crazy though, I like how it looks. They've got a really good art team. I don't know if this is actually made by like, a group of developers or just like one person actually. But it's impressive. Okay. Creepy faces. Oh. I feel so sorry for this little kid. He's getting zapped. Do I have to pull them away from him? Yeah, I think we have to stretch them out here. Come on. There we go. One more to go. Okay, they're breaking. Oh no. He's falling again. <laughs> He's like, nothing's holding me up anymore. I've got to fall down. When I think this game can't get any more creepy, it just manages to, somehow. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ah, yeah, look, these are his memories. The ball, the bunny rabbit, and the dog. Okay, we can twist it again. I don't know why we're doing it this time. Yeah, I think we just have to keep turning it. It seems to be bringing stuff from the outside inwards. Wow, this is making me feel really motion sick right now. <laughs> it's spinning my head out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put an epilepsy warning on this video. 
That was insane. But it showed if you guys saw like all his past memories like coming together at once there. Like they all flashed together. So it's kind of like it's, he's reassembled himself in his dreams and come to terms with all these like traumatic events of his life so far. And now he's asleep again. Yeah, he's asleep. So I'm guessing he is alive. I'm thinking I think this game's about him just putting together his his memories and coming to terms with them. Wait, his dog's alive. And his balls there and his rabbit's there. Or it could be that yeah, he is dead and he's just So, I'm not quite sure. That's the end. That's such a weird ending, happy end. So, was he dead and basically going through, um, maybe, not, I don't know if it's purgatory for a kid, like, I don't think a kid would go to purgatory, but, like, going through limbo and basically, because basically limbo is what's believed to be the place you kind of wait in until you go to either heaven or hell and you relive traumatic events from your past life like you meant to come to terms with the trauma of your life so I feel like that's maybe what the game's doing it is the story like uh, of the game Limbo it's similar to that and showing all the like worst things that happened to this little kid and he's having to come to terms with them over and over until he gets to actually make his passage into the afterlife properly I'm not 100% sure these are just my first thoughts after completing it but either way this has probably been quite a long video so I am going to end it there guys. I'll probably have put this up as one video as I feel it will work best that way but hopefully you enjoyed my playthrough of Happy Game and if you did remember to leave me a like on this video, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.